Hey everybody, it's Alika Lifty, and today let's brew our Columbia Aponte Village honey process as an espresso offering. This is a really tasty coffee. I know I say it every year, but I love this year's offering even more than last year. Uh, I think this flavor is very nostalgic for me, especially on espresso, and uh, I'll talk about that in just a moment, but uh, let's get our parameters. We're gonna be brewing with 19 grams of coffee. We're gonna extract uh, 50 grams out, and we're gonna take 25 seconds. Let's brew. Uh, we really liked 19 grams of this coffee in. Uh, 20 grams is what we would traditionally do, or at least start with for a Colombian coffee, and especially a Ponce. But the flavor was just a little bit too strong with 20 grams. So a little bit more solubility, a little bit more strength out of this 19 grams was really nice, even in larger milk drinks. Um, if our shot pulls too quickly, it's a little tart, a little um, like lemongrass. If it pulls too long, it became really drying cocoa, like, uh, like cocoa powder. But when we're balanced, a ponte reminds me of an old house espresso Onyx used to have called Ozark Copper. This tastes like cherry, malt chocolate, floral honey. And it is silky in texture. It's really nice and that cherry just lingers. And it carries really well in milk drinks, even larger ones. Uh, I really enjoyed it in a 12 ounce latte. We've got a pretty good extraction range with this coffee. Anywhere from about 23 to 27 seconds, it was still really good. In milk, the cherry flavor remains. We also get almond and honey. We lose some of that floral note. It's really sweet, creamy. Serve and enjoy. <laughs>